Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of partitioning objects. This is standard 3.3e in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 15 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Carter and Dane are sharing a package of baseballs equally. All right, so we've got two boys here, Carter and Dane. And we're looking at the fraction of the package of baseballs each person would get. All right, so let's count how many baseballs we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and our answer needs to be in the form of a fraction. Well, let's take a look at what each of these terms are called. So when we get a top number on a fraction, it's called a numerator. And when we get the bottom number, it's called a denominator. Very long words, but they refer to specific parts of a fraction. So the numerator is the number selected or the number chosen. And then the denominator is always going to be the total. Okay, so how many total? Well, in this case, they actually give us the total. Okay, so we can say it's out of eight because there are eight total uh, baseballs. Now, let's see if they share the package equally. Well, really what we're doing here is we are thinking about taking our eight baseballs, right? What if we were divided by, by two? Because I see two names here, Carter and Dane. Well, that's just a basic fact. So that's going to get us uh, four. Let's see if that works. So if I were to do, I'm going to just kind of use a pattern, go every order, on, and I'll label them C and D. So this is going to be C for Carter. D for Dane, C for Carter, D for Dane, C for Carter, D for Dane, C for Carter, and then D for Dane. Let's make sure they each uh, got an equal number. So Carter is going to get, I'll put tally marks above one, and then two, three, four. Okay, so four for Carter and then, yeah, four for Dane. One, two, three, four. All right, so it looks like they are each going to be able to get four, but how do we represent that as a fraction? Well, we labeled each of these baseballs here. And, you know, what? how can we represent each of these baseballs as a fraction? Well, how many baseballs is this right here? Well, obviously, it's just one. But how many total baseballs are there? Eight. There's eight total. So each of these baseballs can equal one-eighth. And if you get all eight of them together, then you've got the whole thing. Eight out of eight, one whole. So what we can use is we can use a little bit of addition. Remember when we add or subtract fractions, we need to have a common denominator. So the denominator we've been dealing with is still going to be 8. That hasn't changed. But let me pull these out here for Carter. Okay, I've got four of them right here. So if I did 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth, right? He gets half, and then Dane gets the other half. Dane's going to get 1 eighth, 1 eighth, 1 eighth, and 1 eighth. How do we add these together? Well... Here's the strange thing with fractions. You need to have a common denominator, but you don't add them. So as long as everything is 8, we're still dealing with 8s. What you do add is you add the numerator. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 makes 4. So I can say that each of the boys got 4 eighths of the baseball, which is equal to 1 half. And that can represent how much they got, because 4 eighths plus 4 eighths is going to equal the whole thing, 8 eighths. All right, so my answer here is D.